Hey, how's she going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. I hope everybody's staying safe and away from the COVID-19 virus. Man, that's devastating. The uh, number of cases, at least here in Nova Scotia, is going up. But uh, I hope everybody's staying safe. But in the meantime, uh, here in Nova Scotia, concerning the COVID-19, uh, here in Nova Scotia they've declared a state of emergency, of course, I think most provinces have. Uh, and one of the things that the state of emergency has uh, caused to happen is they've, uh, they've banned uh, outdoor fires. Uh, and the reason for that, as I understand it, the reason for that is if you happen to have an outside fire, uh, like a campfire or a brush fire or anything like that, cooking fire even, even cooking fires, and if that fire were to get away, and, and cause a forest fire, for example, then that would require uh, first responders, volunteer firefighters, and, and all the support that goes along with that to come to a remote location in the province to fight a fire. And in so doing that, then that leaves uh, like the, the more maybe the more densely populated areas without that service in case something were to happen, maybe related to COVID-19 or for anything for that matter. So anyways, I don't think the logic behind banning fires is totally bad. Uh, in fact, it's kind of nice that they've taken this proactive step, even though that does uh, uh, impose a lot of restrictions on people like myself who are out here in the woods and, and uh, like we have, not so much lately, but generally speaking, we have a lot of outdoor fires. Uh, but anyways, uh, I don't mind giving that up. <laughs> like I'm being a hero, right? I'm giving up my fires. Uh, no, but seriously though, I don't mind giving up the fires uh, because of what's going on with the COVID-19. And I don't want to endanger the uh, first responders, allow them to stay where they're best suited and best able to respond to like real emergencies. Not that a fire is a, isn't a real emergency. It's kind of hard. I'm having trouble trying to explain exactly what my thought is on this, but I'm not going to have any outdoor fires so that there's no risk of me starting a forest fire and drawing first responders and uh, emergency service personnel away from a more heavily populated area where they can do more good. Alright, that's enough said about that. But anyway, the purpose for my video today in Grampy's workshop is to talk about the fact that they've banned all forest fires. Now, where we're located in central Nova Scotia, uh, we're kind of like in the in the high point. I just give you a little, if you're not familiar with Nova Scotia, a little geographical outlet uh, uh, overview of what the province looks like. It's it. People say looking at it from the sky, like ways up there from the space station, maybe it looks like a lobster. So we're about right on the backbone of the lobster. Now there's places in the province certainly that are much much higher than what we are here, our location here in central Nova Scotia. But we are quite high elevated as far as the province goes. In fact, right along about where we are is I'm going to say, uh, um, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but like on one side, say if you look on the, uh, on the north side of our province, or the north side of where I'm located, all brooks, streams, lakes and whatnot drain towards Northumberland Strait or the Bay of Fundy on the south or maybe east side so it would be the north and the west side uh, brooks and rivers and lakes drain towards Northumberland Strait of the Bay of Fundy on the other side like the uh, south and the east side the brooks and rivers and streams drain towards the Atlantic Ocean so we're sort of like in that apex right so like our lake here it'll drain out and go down through rivers and brooks and whatnot and end up in the Atlantic Ocean whereas lakes uh, just on the other side of the highway here close by where we, well it's not a highway it's a road I guess close by where we are they'll drain and go out towards uh, Northumberland Street anyways if you can follow all that so what I'm trying to say is because we're at this apex we tend to get different weather than a lot of other places in the province for example doing maple syrup. I'm not doing maple syrup this year. Uh, a lot of things going on. Uh, my knees aren't as nimble as they used to be and it's hard for me to walk through the woods these days. 
so I decided this year I'm not going to do any maple syrup. But anyways, doing maple syrup here, uh, it's usually around like middle or the latter part of March when I would start to get sap running. <clears throat> Five miles, I'm going to say, south of me here in a little place called Dean Settlement. Their sap runs two weeks ahead of my sap. So just that little bit of difference, you know, that that's that's what we're talking about in the difference of, say, climates, we'll say, climates. Anyways, this is a big long discussion to say, we have lots of snow still here around where we are in the, the province. Uh, I still have, I measured this morning, I have uh, eight, 18 and a half inches of snow still on the ground, 18 and a half inches of snow cover on the ground. And if you go like 20 minutes south of us, there's no snow on the ground. You know, that's just the way it goes. You know, if you study geography and topography and weather and uh, microclimates, I mean, this isn't rocket science, I'm telling you. It's, just, it's not strange, it's just a, that's what happens. Anyways, all this prelude that I'm giving you is leading up to, the, to what I'm trying to say. We have banned forest fires for fear of starting a forest Sorry, not banned. We certainly have ban on forest fires. We have a ban on outdoor fires of any kind. Cooking, bonfire, campfire, brush fire, uh, waste garbage fire, things like that. They're all banned for fear of a forest fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you out and just show you around the yard here around the camp. And uh, just to show you how much snow we have. And they're afraid of a forest fire. Now, I'm not trying to be... Uh, like sarcastic or criticizing their decision to ban forest fires, no way at all. But I just want to show you what it's like here and we can't have a fire. So anyways, it's more or less just a common interest story that I'm showing. I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. This is just, uh, you know, this is what you'd read on the uh, common interest page in a newspaper or something like that maybe. <laughs> Let's go have a look at the air. Okay, it's uh, it's nice and sunny here today, and it was minus 12 this morning when I woke up. By the way, today is uh, March 29th, if anybody's keeping score. But it was minus 12 here this morning, beautiful sunny day, and not much wind. So let's just look around the yard and see how much snow we have still on the ground here around the camp. I plowed that snow bank up the other day. It was wet and heavy, and we had some snow and some then freezing rain on it, and it was a miserable little thing to plow. Anyway, there's some snow, and then if you look down here, over the front yard down to the boathouse there, of course the lake is all still froze, the lake out there, and uh, it's hard to tell, I guess, how much snow we have out there just by looking at it with nothing to measure it, but anyway, trust me, we have a lot. The, the snow was so wet and heavy the other day on my deck that... Uh, I didn't really shuffle it off. <laughs> kind of feel bad about that, but anyways, here's a look at the deck. So I just shoveled a little path so I could get to my wood box. And then all this snow on the deck. Then there's the car there, and of course there's always big banks around the car because that's where I plow the snow to pile it. And uh, over here, this was uh, this this is all covered in snow, eh? And this is where I've been plowing the snow all winter, so this is kind of maybe not a realistic view of how much snow we have. But there's a lot there. And then around the back of the camp there, I never shoveled my new deck off, put a foot of snow in it. That lattice that you see right there, that lattice is uh, oh, it's about seven foot tall at the top of it, and it's about uh, four foot show in there, so I got three feet of snow in that particular area, but it's it kind of drifts in there. And, uh, yeah, a lot of snow piled up here, but like I say, this is where I plow the snow. And then out the lane. 
Uh, my lane here, I have to blow that now because the snowbanks are getting so high my plow won't push the snow over top of the snowbank, so I had to blow, blow that the other day. And then over here in the garden, the garden here, that little fence you see around the garden, <laughs> it's a snow fence. <laughs> it sure is. That fence is two feet high, so it gives you an idea of how the snow is drifted in there. Yeah, in the greenhouse. So anyways, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is we still have a bunch of snow. Uh, and outdoor fires are banned. And for good reason I must say they're banned, but it, it still surprises me that, you know, th this, this is snow in our yard, so I'm just going to walk down the lane and show you still some snow cover that's in the woods. Of course, here in the yard where it's open, you would expect to have more snow cover. So down here, we're still pretty woodsy. You see, we still have a lot of snow cover in the woods. And then where I plowed my lane here, uh, when the sun gets on it, it takes no time at all for the snow to melt. Especially yesterday. I recorded a temperature of 20 degrees yesterday. And then it was minus 12 this morning. So we still have lots of snow cover in the woods. <laughs> no outdoor fires. Because of forest fire hazards. No, that's... I'm, I'm being facetious again. It's not, we don't have outdoor fires because of forest fire hazard. There's always a risk of a forest fire. I mean, this tree could start burning right now if I wanted it to burn, I guess, even with all the snow. So it's not a risk of forest fires. There's no fires because we don't want to have first responders, emergency response people busy fighting a fire when they maybe need to be helping people. So the, uh, the goal, the moral of the story is, uh, Pay attention to what the Department of Health is saying. Uh, stay safe. Uh, try to self-isolate as best you can. I know we still have to go to town. We still have to get groceries. Uh, stuff like that. we got to live. we got to eat. But uh, avoid contact. Stay your six feet away. You know, be as safe as you can. And I also want to mention, uh, I, I just uh, went over 500 subscribers uh, first of last week. So thanks very much. To all you guys and girls out there that are subscribing, I sure appreciate all the support you're giving the channel. I definitely did not think it would ever get to be near this big. And uh, my goal is not to have a great big huge channel and millions of subscribers. I'd like to get millions of views though because the, uh, the views are nice and then the comments so that we can maintain an exchange, get to know each other a little bit over the internet and YouTube. So. Thanks for tuning in. Sure appreciate it. And we'll see you next time on Grampy's Workshop. We'll talk to you soon.